Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with Morocco, one of the most requested countries in the entire list. That is correct, Morocco is a state-controlled economy, blah blah blah, yada 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 yada. So, what can we do to improve? Well, we can do lots of things. We could swap over to a private economy, if we wanted to. Um, would that really help? Like, overly... Lapping degrees, whatever. Yeah, it might. Before I really get started on this goodness of how I would control this particular country, I want to go ahead and bring up something that I plan on doing. It's a giveaway! Yes, yes, yes. I joined the horde of YouTubers who do giveaways. Well, aside from just, uh, you know subscriber grab <laughs> in this case I decided to do a giveaway that would be pertinent to um, those who watch my channel those who enjoy my stuff and uh, I'm really excited because you know it's I feel like it'll it'll be good and it's a, kind of a way I guess you know that I can give back to those who care uh, about the channel and who really put in a lot of time watching this stuff that I make so yeah basically the item I would be giving away would be superpower 2 that's right a copy of this game that I play so much <laughs> because I know there's still quite a few people blah 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 who don't have the game needless to say if you want to enter for a chance to win I need you to be a subscriber I need you to comment on this video um, basically that you would be interested in a copy and essentially I'll do like kind of a random drawing I might even uh, do a video of that drawing to show who wins and I'll write it down on like a piece of paper and draw it out of a hat or whatever something along those lines yeah 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 so <laughs> again to reiterate uh, if you want to be entered to win you do have to be a subscriber you do have to comment on this video and um, just so I basically know that you're entered and um, yeah it would be uh, good if you like the video as well I don't really think that should be a requirement per se because maybe you don't like the video <laughs> so I'm not gonna make you like it but yeah seriously comment on it and you have to be a subscriber and uh, you could be entered for a chance to win superpower too okay so now that the the, the good old PR stuff is out the way. Let's get back to the game. That's right. So what should I do? Well, eh, I don't know, really. I'm going to go ahead and permit freedom of speech and demonstration. I think this is going to make my people a little bit happier. Okay, a minuscule amount. Maybe I need to kick it up at speed a little bit. Nope, okay, yeah, that's... My people don't seem to care if they can speak and protest, whatever. More power to you, I guess. Well, let's just go ahead and jump up this personal income tax, how much we're taxing the piss out of our people. Uh, I think I'm going to go all the way up to 70. Yeah, we'll do 70. Bam, 70. All right, I'm going to drop this down to 0%. All right, all right. Now, the question that becomes is because I am a monarchy, I don't know if I'm exactly where I would want to be. Let's get rid of research, first of all. We don't need to research. It's not that important to us. Uh, education is fine. Healthcare, we could lower because we don't have the money to spend. I think we're going to swap over to a multi-party democracy uh, just because. Yes. All right. That will bump that over a little bit. I should raise our relations with some of the more fancy people in the world and Europe and whatnot, which is good. Now we can get economic aid from Belgium. Yes, yes. Now you don't really have to swap over to a multi-party democracy. I just choose to. Um, and we're going to swap a lot of our stuff over to private so that we're not... Um, you know, spending a whole bunch of money to make sure that we're meeting domestic consumption 
which I know we can't. Uh, let's see, privatize, 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 privatize. And by the way, the main reason that I actually swamped over to um, a multi-party democracy is to basically improve my relations with the rest of the world. I'm very heavy on diplomacy uh, because if you get those uh, diplomatic situations just right, you can do things like, I'm going to get rid of propaganda for the most part, Get rid of most of it. Click that. You can do things like, you know, get another country to assume your debt. And it's like, if you can get to that point, why not? Do it. Especially like in the particular case that we are in. We're spending a lot of money on debt. Good goodness. We are poor as a country. We are really poor. We're not doing very well. <laughs> not very well at all. No. No, 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 no. I could lower education more. Mm. I don't like to lower it too much. Yeah, my people are going to start hating me here soon enough. Well, if we keep swapping all this over to uh, privatize and whatnot, we can up the taxes on it and go that route. That's actually my main thing. Again, I request that there would be a swap all the government, swap all the private button. In the next iteration of superpower, that would be oh so nice. Yes, yes, it would be. Okay, so let's speed it up a little bit. Kind of let everything readjust, get knocked up back in there, and see what happens. All right, inflation is lowering, which is not good, but it'll probably it'll catch back up with itself here soon enough. We're receiving economic aid. From lots of very nice people who want to help us and make sure that we get all of our vital needs. Alright, who do I have the highest relationship with? The Netherlands, it seems. The good old Netherlands. They don't have quite have enough money for what I'm needing, though. You know what I could do? Is this, and this is kind of cheap. I don't normally do this, but I, I think if I can pull this off, I'm totally going to do it. Uh, let's see. Let's max out foreign aid. Bam. Oh, and let's see what our relation is with Belgium. <laughs> Over 80. So then you could actually go and do this. You could do assume my debt and just get Belgium to pay for your debt. Bam. They paid our debt. We're still pretty high in expenses. So realistically speaking, you would want to lower... Uh, some of these expense counters, which, hmm, I don't know. There really isn't that much. I guess, really, education and healthcare are the only ones that you can really drop down considerably. But then again, your populace already hates you at this point, so it's kind of a, a wishy-washy road there if you actually even want to do that. Um, let's see, let's see. Belgium still loves us. We can get them to assume our debt again to make sure that we're maintaining high relations because doing the assume my debt treaty um, gives you a huge boost in relations as you can see. Uh, look at that, 95 with Belgium. This is in, that's kind of, Belgium is always one of the countries that starts out with money, starts out well off. So it's always not, it's never a bad idea to uh, kind of let them, you know, take your debt. I think the main problem I'm having right now, though, is with inflation lowering. We're not making as much money as we could be making. I could raise taxes. I could raise taxes in this sector. I don't know. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do in this particular uh, in these particular circumstances. Oh, I could just keep receiving all this economic aid people keep throwing at me. Yes, thank you, India. So kind. Oh yes, yes, yes. Make sure to uh, uh, let Bollywood know that I'm I'm still uh, I'm still ready for my acting gig there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm weird like that. So we're gonna throw a little bit of money into fossil fuels since we're so horribly broke in fossil fuels. Because why not, right? Why not? And then we could throw off a little bit more money to uh, Belgium here. Again, this is kind of a cheap way out. Like, a lot of times I won't do this. But for this particular video, I will. Just because I feel like it's, you know, why not? 
who cares? Let's just do a little bit of messing around. Do a little breaking out of the shell, you know what I mean? You know, let's do that. I could get rid of my military. It's not really all that expensive as is, but, you know, that's always a possibility. Um, let's see. I, I really I don't need to drop it that much more. It's already pretty low. My approval rating is, like, abysmal, and stability is pretty abysmal, too. That'll come back over time, and even then, if approval never gets as high as it used to be, I don't know. I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna cry about it. I think we'll be okay. Realistically, though, if you wanted to, it wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of bump on over and take Algeria uh, because of their pretty good number of resources they have going on over there. Uh, you could expand and increase your markets. Which would not be a bad idea at all, mind you. Not at all. Yes, New Zealand, send me money. Send me some of that, that hobbit money that you're making there for all, your, for all your nice tourist traps that you got for people who like Lord of the Rings and whatnot. Just throw it at me, man. Throw it at me. Alright, so I increased fossil fuels a little bit. Uh, I think if we went into a common market treaty with Belgium... That would probably assist our goals a lot. Let's try it, dude. See what happens. Oh, not bad, not bad. Let's see. Who else has making a lot of resources? Uh, France. Let's see if we can get into a common market with France. No. K. Oh, that's right. They're not making any money. If they're not, if a country's not making money, half the time they won't accept anything you send to them because it's like, oh, we're broke. We have no money. So why would we do that? It's like, whatever, man. Let's raise the global tax mod to about 2%. Because right now, well, 3%. Because right now we just have unfettered growth in our resources sector because we're not, you know, taxing anything, basically. We're leaving the market open to be played with. Wow, that really didn't do anything, did it? Raising it 3.5%. Maybe I need to raise it up to 10, 10.4%. Okay, well, that adjusted it a little bit more. I'm cool with that. Well, yeah, 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 that's not bad. I could just lower a few more budget sliders here um, if I really wanted to. I could do that. What else What else could I bring down? Oh, well, no, there we go. They're just kind of kicking in now. All right, well, yeah, there we go. We're making a positive balance now. We've actually got a pretty decent amount. I could start throwing it in like cereals I think or no maybe dairy let's go with cereals first let's just kind of meet production in that sector you know increase that by 25 percent all right um we could go the route of throwing it at Belgium I think we'll do that for just for time's sake uh so you guys can get a pretty basic idea of how to do this Yep, 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 yep. Throw a little bit more money at poor old Belgium. We're going to make them broke before the day's over. <laughs> Belgium's just not going to like us. They're just like, come on, man. I thought we were friends, and all you do is make me pay for your crap. And it's like, nah, Belgium, it's not even like that, baby. We love you. We love you. Look at all the money I'm getting in economic aid. I'm getting almost $4 billion in economic aid. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Our inflation still hasn't risen yet, but eh, whatever. Well, anyway, I think this is like a pretty good stopping point, but you get the general gist of where I'm going, uh, how I'm slowly kind of trying to build up my economy here bit by bit. We're, you know, steady on making a positive balance. Normally, I would uh, fiddle more with the economic, or excuse me, the uh, budget sliders here. I would generally max out infrastructure. To increase resource growth, which that does assist in, not to mention it's just good for your economy overall, overall and your development level. FYI, but uh, yeah, this time I kind of stayed away from that. I just kind of kept it maintaining and focused more on trading and even throwing uh, debt off to Belgium, who just became even more richer. So we're going to do more things to them. <laughs> We're actually going to meet consumption. Take my money, Belgium! Take it! Yes, yes, pay it for me. Oh, this sweet, sweet Belgium money. They just keep throwing us at it. They're throwing it at us. What nice people. Hmm, so nice. See, now that we're actually making consumption, we can, 
you know, make money off of it. So there we go. There we go. That's how we do, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Don't forget what I said about the giveaway. If you are interested in grabbing yourself a copy of Superpower 2, just comment and subscribe to your good old-fashioned Commissar Bro. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, feel free to like it and show some love um, to the Commissar who's, you know, the Commissar. <laughs> anyway, comrades, I'll see you guys later. And I can't wait to figure out who wins the uh, the contest. So, yeah, see you guys later.